of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Ah, the lovely Patsy. Oh, good afternoon, Boris. You're, you're in the pad room early today. Yes, I came early on a purpose to see you. Oh, that, that's nice. You, you've you been quite a stranger lately, Boris. Yes, but not from my choice. Uh, mm-hmm. However, I've been working hard on something, mm-hmm. but I am sure you would not be interested. I must not bore the exquisite little area. <laughs> you have such a nice way of saying things. Of course I'm interested. Tell me. You have a few minutes. Of course. Uh, the seals go on after this turn, and then it's my kill. Good. But if I confide in you, I must rely on you to keep it a secret. Oh, you know you can trust me. Well, it looks as if I will soon have an opportunity to have a circus of my own. Boris! Really? You know I've long worked for such an opportunity. And now, unless my plans go astray, I believe my chance is here. Oh, how wonderful! Uh, for you! But, but poor Mr. Randall... It would be bad luck for him. Well, that is why I must not say uh, nothing to anyone until I am quite sure. I would not disturb Mr. Randall needlessly. But, but what will he do, Boris? Oh, there are many other good riding troops in this world. Oh, but not like yours. No, no I have as good. Mm, it is nice to hear you say so, even if it is not quite true. <laughs> oh, it's time for the seals. Now, uh, quick, Boris, tell me of your plans. Boris! Yes? Oh, it is you, Olga. Well, what do you want? You forgot your scarf. Here, I brought it for you. Oh, so I did. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're getting absent-minded. It's the excitement of your plans, I guess. What? You are not telling Patsy about... Indeed I am. She's a good friend. Oh, but... But she's not interested in South America. So... South America? Yes. You see, we have studied this thing very carefully, and a circus sent through the capitals of South America could probably bring in more money in one season than but, all the... But so far away. Well, you would miss us, yeah? Oh, of course. We, we all would. Perhaps you would consider an offer at twice your salary? Well... What do you mean? To go as the feminine star of our troop. You would have first billing, the finest accommodations, and one of the most interesting trips you have ever made. It sounds very exciting. Patsy, I tell you what I will do. Yes? I will even let you buy an interest in a circus. What? Oh, why not, Olga? Patsy is our good friend. She could have more than double her money in one season. Besides, think of the excitement of the trip. You, you mean I could double that $20,000 in one season? You most certainly could. Are you quite out of your head, Boris? A woman does not like to take a risk. There is no risk. You know that. You've already found that the schedule can be guaranteed. It is a gold mine. It would be nice for Patsy to get in on it. Yes, of course. But I still say Patsy is not the kind to go in on some venture she knows nothing about. Oh, but if Boris knows it's quite safe... Indeed, I do. Of course, I would want you to see all the plans and go over everything yourself. I am afraid Patsy is too pretty to worry with business. <laughs> you're, you're wrong, Olga. I, I like to be active. Good. And then we will get together after the matinee and talk, yes? Oh, oh there, it's my turn. I, yeah, yes, I'll talk to you later. Olga Yutura. Why should you come in and try and spoil my little plot? Hmm, so I am a Dora, eh? I will have you know, my fine brother, that you have your sister to thank for this interest Patsy's taking in your plans. You, you, every time I try to tell her how nice it is, you tell her, no, no, you would not like that. Of course I do that. I do it on purpose. Why should you do that? You want to throw away $20,000. That is what it's worth to us. Not so loud. No one must hear us. 
If she thinks we are not too anxious to have her, it will make her all the more eager. Yes, but you do not need to tell her it is not for a young girl like her to go into business. Of course I do. It will make her want to show us she's a good businesswoman. Ah, you are full of a lot of ideas. I wish you would keep your nose out of my affairs. Someday you will be very glad I have helped you. I hope so. It will go bad for you if I find you have spoiled my plans. You remember that, my sister. It is not time for you to get ready, boy. Yes, sir. The horses are late. I will have to do something about this fight. Wait, I will go see. Boris! Hey, Boris! Yes? What do you want, Jerry? Your horse, Rex. He got away. What? What are you talking about, boy? The guards were leading your horses over here from the horse stand. Here they come now, Boris. And one of those pesky little zebras went haywire and got away. Right. Uh, Rex is not here. Well, where is he? What happened? Well, that's what I'm telling you. Rex got loose and lit out for those hills back of the circus. Ah, this is the finish. I will fix that bitey if anything happens to Rex. Oh, don't worry. I'll do something. I had to tell you, but we'll get Rex all right. Uh, see you later. Hello, buddy. Where you going so fire fast? Horse got loose. Headed up those hills back of the lot. Well, son, guess maybe I could help you some. I allows how most of the circus folks are kind of tied up. What with the show going on now? Guess there's nothing much you can do. There are no roads up that hill. I'm going to saddle Splendor and try to catch up with it. I reckon if you all don't mind none, I'll walk over that hill and bring back that runaway. What? Oh, quit kidding. This is serious. You're kind of out of breath, ain't you, son? Sure, I gotta hurry. Say, Jiminy Wilkers, here I am running for all I'm worth, and you're just walking alongside of me. Guess maybe my long legs got something to do with that. But, gee whiz, I, I run fast. I. If it's all right with you, son, I'll head up that hill for that horse he was now. Sure, but, well, he went right up there. See where those rocks are? Yeah, right alongside of that, that clump of trees, huh? Yeah, he disappeared back of those. Well, here's a horse, Dan. Got to fix up Splendor and get going. So long, son. I'll be seeing you at the top of the mountain. Good night. Look at that fella go. Uh, that you, Jerry? Yeah. Hey, Whitey, quick, we got to get a saddle on Splendor. Oh, not now, Jerry. Oh, no, no. There's too much to do. The show's on. I know, but Rex got away while the guard was leading him over to the main tent. Got away? Yeah. And, oh, here's Splendor's saddle. Help me. How in carnation did that horse get away? I don't know. It happened so fast I couldn't quite see. But one of the zebras got loose and started kicking near the Arabians. And before I knew it, Rex would head and ride up the hill back of us. Well, that's fierce. Huh? Uh, here, here, Jerry, let me buckle that. Yeah. <laughs> You're in such a hurry, you got butterfingers. Guess I am kind of clumsy at that. Huh. Even Splendor's catch in the excitement. Uh, did you tell anyone? It seems like maybe they, they ought to send a car out after Rex. I thought of that, but there aren't any roads up that way. And there's so many rocks and things. Yeah, that's right, Jerry. I sure hope you can catch up with them. Those Arabians are mighty fast. I'll tell you what. Hey, uh, give me that whistle. Yeah, here you are. Now, the least I can do is to catch sight of them and keep him in sight. Then, if I can't catch him with this whistle, I can let you know where we are. If you have to send someone out later, you'll find us. Say, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, but it's rotten luck having everyone tied up during the show. There. I guess we got you fixed, Splendor. You want to go places? <laughs> If we can't catch Rex, we sure can't find him and keep him in sight. Come on, Splendor. Well, do your stuff, Jerry. I sure wish I could go. Don't you worry, Whitey. Okay, Splendor, here we go. And with any luck, we'll be back soon with Rex. Well, good luck to you, Jerry. Here, take it easy here on the lot, Splendor. Hey, that's right. Now between these wagons and we've got a nice open stretch. If we can just head up this way. Okay, Splendor, let her go. There, that's better. Now we're off the lot. Whoa, whoa there, boy. Easy there. There's a crossing ahead. Okay. Now I guess the way is clear. Good. Now I guess it's right up this place here. Gee, you know, you can hardly blame Rex for running away on a swell day like this. Yes, I'd want to play hooky, too. Mm. Hey, this is sure rocky. Whoa! Hey, wait a second. I thought I heard something. Whoa, whoa, whoa Splendor. Well, that... Mm, that's funny. It sounded like I heard whoa. a voice. Whoa! Sure, someone's yelling. Right over there to the left. Come on, Splendor, up this way. Come on. That's it. Easy now. Whoa, there, buddy. Who's there? Where are you? The sun's in my eyes. I can't see. Right up here above you, son. Where? Oh, oh, it's you. Sure thing. Who are you expecting to see in this open country? Well, I, I don't know. 
Say, you sure got up here fast. Listen, son, I've been to the top of the mountain and back. Here, guide that little pony up this way. Better go. Okay. This way, Spanger. Good. Well, you made pretty good time at that, having to wait for a pony. I wish you'd quit kidding. Gee, now, if we just had any idea where to look for that Arabian. <laughs> Your words were over, son. He's on the other side of that clump of brush tied to those trees. Why? Sure thing. You told me I could fetch him, didn't you? Here, let me see. Come on, Splendor, this way. Rex. My golly, it is Rex. And he is tied. Well, allowed us how you wouldn't want him to stay loose. Say, who are you? <laughs> Folks always call me Speed. Speed? <laughs> it sure is a good name for you. But mine's Jerry. Mighty glad to meet you, Jerry. Well, now we got a runaway. I reckon we better fetch him back to lot. I'll say. But uh, how on earth did you ever get him, Speed? Oh, want no trick. He's browsing along top of that hill over there, and I guess he just knew I was a friend when I spoke to him gentle like. You didn't really go way up to the top of that hill and back just while I got splendor. Sure, that's nothing, Jerry. But how could anyone go so far in such a short time? Easy. Why, my great granddad used to be a runner for the mail. Oh. Well, you want to get started back? Uh, yeah, I guess we'd better. Uh, you take Rex. Right. Come on, Rex. Come on. Say, uh, Speed. Well? Uh, what were you doing standing around the pad room? How do you happen to be there? Mm, just a watching. Usually, they don't let strangers in the backyard. I got a way of getting places. <laughs> I'll say you have. Besides, it was pretty important that I find a job. Oh, you're looking for work, huh? A lot as high might be kind of handy around the circuit. Did you see Murray? Yeah, and everyone else. Looks like they don't need no extra men. See, I'm beginning to get an idea. Have you ever done much racing? Well, sure, but it got so folks wouldn't race with me no more, so I wasn't allowed into the races. Guess I'm just built natural for running. Did you ever race with a horse? <laughs> Plenty, but of course the horse never knew it was a race. Uh, you were just <laughs> trying to get away, huh? Yeah, but when I'm in training, it takes a pretty smart animal to beat me. Yeah, I think I got a humdinger of an idea. What is it? Come on, let's get going. Come on, Splendor. Let her go, Rex. Maybe I'll get you a job after all. I reckon you can't make me mad that way. When Mr. Randall hears how you caught Rex, and then he gets a load of this idea, I'll sure miss my guess if you don't land a nice job. You gonna let me in on the secret? No, not till I get to Mr. Randall. Come on, Splendor, and say speed. You better climb aboard that Arabian. We're going places, and we can't wait for even the fastest runner in the world. <laughs>